Okay, guys. Karateka. Michael Klaikom in blue versus Mark Highlight Reels Muay Thai fighter. Nice push kick, Mai Gary. So interesting that Klaikom took that leg kick almost like how you would see Karatekas take it, like Kyokushin Kai's take it in the low kick championships. So look at the laser focus by Michael, man. So a lot of you who don't know, Michael had like an eye issue that he sort of finally got fixed a few years ago. So like Michael's overcome a lot physically to fight all these years. So that's something really, really inspiring. I'm just mentioning this great calf kick, by the way, because, you know, I'm this just not been a good year physically for me. So just like every fighter has a story. Right. And that's something to keep in mind. Um of course, we're celebrating both these fighters. So just because I'm focusing on Michael does not mean I'm giving any less credit to Mark Reels. So, anyways. Um, things to see in Michael, right? His combos will probably be a little bit different than your standard Muay Thai combos. Um, some other things, potentially. You might see maybe some intercepts. And um, maybe some slightly fancier kicks. So, oof, Michael's definitely um, losing on some of those exchanges there. It's so funny to use a word like exchange. I was hanging out with my Muay Thai coach, Dean, yesterday. And he heard the word exchange because we're playing chess. It's like exchange. I'm like, yeah, like, you know, you take a piece. I take a piece kind of thing. And he's like, oh, I'm like, yeah, it's kind of like when fighting, right? Like you take a punch, I take a punch. But if I punch you better, right? Sort of the same thing. So, oof, Mark Reels is swinging. So it looks like there's this ref's allowing some limited clinch time, right? Another push kick by Michael. So that was the end of the first round, man. Close first round. I will say the edge probably goes to Mark Reels. So if I were Michael's corner, I would tell him, like, you got to dial it up, man. Um, oh, there you go. Michael having some head When You see how why it's important to have your at least – your right hand up if you're orthodox, right? Like, the kicks will come and hit your face if your right hand is not attached to your temple. Like, everyone's like, you don't always eat your hands up. Yeah, if you're freaking Anderson Silva. But if you're not at that level, make sure your hands are up a lot, right? Anyways. I think Michael's having a little bit of, like, a slow starter in this fight, which is fine. It's fine. Um, I know, well, well, there we go. Great counter, just a little cross. We all know how good Michael is when he can find his groove, right? And, you know, finding your groove is hard in anything, in any sport. Sometimes you don't find your groove immediately, and that's okay. So you do notice that nice kick to the body. Um, the red gloves, a.k.a. Mark Reels. Sometimes he drops his lead hand in inopportune times, right? So you can potentially time certain things. And we saw Mar um did I say Mark? We saw Michael have some success with light kicks, right? So uh, Michael definitely trying some really good combos. So hmm, break it up. Tell yeah, exactly. Ref, come on. Gotta break it up, man. There it is. Just going right through the gloves. Good. A lot of this position, this is almost like Wing Chun trapping range that uh, that the two of them had ended up in. Oh, there we go. Ura Mawashi Gary right here. He didn't have the full chamber to kind of throw it with a lot of force, right? But sometimes I'm telling you, man, you stick to what's your edge, right? And if you have some cool unorthodox kicks, use them, man. There it is. Nice punch counter. So, all right. Still... I think this round is still not in Michael's favor, man. If I were Michael's corner, I would say, dude, you need to really, really show that you win it in this round, man. So you got to want it, right? You got to want a nice combo by Michael. Again, ending off with the leg kick, right? Nice. There you go. Michael's head movement and defense. Okay, I think he's got it. He's found his groove. I can tell he's found his groove, man. Oh, it was a little bit accidental low blow. Yeah, uh, Mark Mark understood it too. Good good show of understanding, right? Stuff like that just happens. There we go. Look at that. There you go. Dude, when Michael finds his groove, you can see it, man. Ooh, you can see it. Dude, the, 
I really want to see some Wing Chun now. They keep ending up in Wing Chun range. That was a question mark kick by Mar uh, by uh, by Michael, man. See, they keep ending up in, in Wing Chun range, man. It's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Gotta be careful. He got push kicked, though. Michael got push kicked. Nice. It's ending It's ending up in this clinch range again. Yeah, just let the rest separate it, man. There you go. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. Here is the karate. There we go. I predict we're going to see another one of those kicks. Those spin kicks. Oh, side kick. Nice. That punch could have hit him down there. Right? That mu was an almost a low blow. So, But, dude, I love it. I love seeing Michael when he finds his groove. So, oh, man. Mark, don't get in the pocket. Don't get in the pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. One thing that's worked for Mark, red corner, right? Red gloves is his push kick. So, I think he's just he's just a little gassed. Yeah, he's tired. He's too tired, man, dude. This is when this is when the guy who's not tired should smell some blood, man. Yep, swinging a car just passed by. If you guys heard that, ending up in Wing Chun range again. Ref not stopping. Oh no, they stopped it themselves. So I hope you guys watched the original on Fighter Rep's channel to see who won this. I won't reveal who they gave it to. What's interesting seeing this match, watching Michael Claycomb, is that when he puts his karate into it, right, what you would associate with the karate flair, he does his best, man. Dean Rosenwald, who you've seen on this channel, when Dean Rosenwald puts his own flair into it, he does the best. When he tries to do just that Muay Thai thing, he doesn't do as well. And Every time Dean asks me to watch his fight, I don't like watching his fight because I care about him, right? I don't like seeing him get hit. But every time he's like, what do you think? And I would tell him, look, when you do your own thing, because Dean's done Boca Tour, Dean's done Karate, Dean's done all that stuff. I'm like, when you put all that flair in it, you look the best and do your best. I'm not just saying this to encourage more people with flair to step into the ring and the cage, etc. Of course, I want you guys to do that. You have something that other people don't know how to handle. Use it. So anyways, guys. I will interview Joseph and Michael together soon, so stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions about Shotokan or Michael Claycomb, leave them in the comments. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed, fight commentary breakdowns, press a like, and we will talk soon. Go to Fighters Rep 2. Give them a big shout out, guys. All right? Talk to you soon.